All right, Shalom. First off, give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh by Shemi Awashai, by Shemu Karkadash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of GMS, salutes and honors to the elect, all the brothers across the four corners who are enduring in truth and in sincerity, and the women and children who follow. So as you can see, I wanted to do this particular lesson about the training camp of the truth. And uh, I just got the Wikipedia definition of training camp. If you brothers aren't familiar um, or in the sports or anything like that, it's just to give context to why I'm calling this lesson the, the training camp of the truth. It says a training camp is an organized period in which military personnel or athletes participate in a rigorous and focused schedule of training in order to learn or improve skills. All right, and that's really what the truth is right now, okay? We're in an organized period, okay? It's a set of time. Nobody knows the date, but it's a set of time that we have to prepare for Jacob's trouble. All right, that's that's when game day is, is on, okay? Um, so, like I said, this, we, um, as men of the Lord, and as you can see, it says the military personnel or athletes. We are the, the, the Lord's military personnel. We are his, his uh, battle axe and his weapons of war. Okay? He's going to rain judgment through the hand of his people, Israel. Okay? He's going to put his anger and his fury upon us. And we're going to enact judgment uh, via him through us. Lord willing, we are part of that number. Okay? So, um, then the scriptures also compare us, uh, to athletes. It says, uh, all that run the race, but one, uh, roughly paraphrasing, uh, yeah, only one wins and one that beat us to air like a boxer kind of deal. So we are, um, the Lord's chosen vessels to be in this training camp. Okay. And it says a rigorous and focused schedule of training. Okay, so that means constantly doing lessons, constantly uh, going on the highways, edifying the brothers. And not only that, you know, being a, a the true sense of being a righteous man in your everyday life as well. You know, having charity, having all the different characteristics. I mean, that's pretty much what I'm going to go over right now, which is, you know, the training camp of the truth. Everything that you need to do or you should be doing. Uh, which, you know, it just came to my head a couple more scriptures, so Lord willing, I get those as well. But uh, in order to learn and improve skills, because that's what we're here for. Okay, we're here to, to learn skills, and we're here to improve the skills that we have so that we can be deemed worthy for salvation. Okay. Um, so, dang, I should have got that precept while it was in my mind because it kind of slipped already. And that's my fault. I can uh, Salakia. Let me see what I got already, though. So this is Colossians 3 and uh, 5. It says, Mortify therefore your members which are upon earth, fornication, uncleanliness, inordinate affection, evil concupiscence, and covetedness, which is idolatry. All right, so these are things that mortify to, to kill off. You know, okay, get rid of all this stuff. That's holding you back, okay? Un illegal sex and having your mind basically is a lot of has to do with either uh, illegal sex or um, having your mind in a wrong place or wanting something that you, that's not yours, okay? To focus on what's important, which is the truth. All right, it says, uh, for which things sake the wrath of the Most High cometh upon the children of disobedience. Okay, so that's pretty pretty much self-explanatory in the which ye also walk some time when ye lived in them that's right because we can't forget where we come from we were those people we were the, the so-called two-thirds you know but the lord he gave us a beautiful opportunity to come back to our nation and uh, to praise yahweh to do his will okay so don't forget that you know you can be easily back in the two-thirds shoes it says but now he also put off 
all these anger, wrath, it's like malice, blasphemy, filthy communication out of your mouth, like not one to another, seeing that ye have put off the old man with his deeds, are just be be one hundred. You know, with the Akiyam, with the apostles, with everybody. You know, everyday life just be one hundred. It's it's a lot easier to be one hundred than it is being, you know, even ninety five. It says, uh, and have put on the new man, which is renewed in the knowledge after the image that, after the image of him that created him. And that's the point right there, man, to be, to really be that new man, to leave that old nigga where that old nigga was and be that new man who came into the truth and turned his life around. We all come from something. We all come from different walks of life. But we're all here now, so we are. So there's a standard that we have to meet in order to remain here, and in order, like I said, to get that hope of salvation. And that's where we need to be. That's what this training camp is for, right? It's for, uh, it's like you. It's for uh, a focused training schedule in order to learn or improve skills. We're all here. To learn and to improve skills and you can't do that being the old man you need to be the new man and receive this you can't put uh new wine in old bottles or else they burst so um moving on this is uh matthew chapter 7 and 13 okay it says enter ye at the straight gate for wide is the gate and broad is the way that leads to destruction and many there be which go thereat Okay, so when it says enter at the straight gate, it's not talking about, you know, you don't want to go to a, a, a messed up gate to get into a yard or something like that. It's talking about hard times. All right, that straight is talking about hard times. If it was talking about a, a linear line, it would have had a G, you know. But uh, that straight, the way it's spelled right there, is it's talking about dire straits, talking about hard times. You're going to go through something. Okay, the Lord never said this was going to be easy. The laws are not grievous, but being a man of the Lord, it's not easy. Because if it was easy, everybody would do it. All right, you're not loved by the world. Okay, you're, you're you know, some of your friends, some of your families may have turned their back on you. All right, but you got to keep going on. You got to keep moving forward. You know, people, you're going to lose people. Okay, that's that's at the end of the day, you're going to lose people, people that you once cared about, people that you once loved, whether they die or whether they turn your back on, you're going to lose them. That's just a part of this truth. But you got to be able to separate yourself. Okay, because it says that if you can't uh, love the Lord more than you love your wife or your kids or your mom, your dad, <clears throat> so on and so forth, you're not fit for the kingdom. So you got to you got to be strong enough to understand that <clears throat> that's just a part of the game. You know, the apostles back in the day, they had families. But what they do, they follow Yahweh Shai. And that's what we got to do. I'm not saying to, to leave your wife and kids, but what I'm saying is understand that this is this is the main thing. This is num numero uno. Okay? Verse 14 it says because straight is the gate and narrow is the way which leads to life, and there be few there that it's like and uh, and few there be that find it. Okay, <clears throat> everybody's going to the broad gate, to the wide way, the easy route. Okay, everybody's taking that easy route, but it's few that go through that straight gate that can make it through these hard times. But that's the way that leads to life. That's that's where. The, the, the getting is good. The path less travel. Okay. Um, it's another good thing. You know, uh, 2 Corinthians 13 and 5, it says, Examine yourselves whether you be in the faith. Prove your own selves. Know ye not your own selves, how that Yahweh Shai HaMashiach is in you, except you be reprobates. Okay, so you, you do got to know yourself. You got to know your strong points, you got to know your weaknesses, and that goes back to the original um, reason we did the did the lesson, you know, it's the training camp, when you're in training camp, you know, if you're a, 
a wide receiver and you fast, but you you lack route running ability, then um, you know that's something that you got you got to work on. You got to examine yourself. Say, hey, I got four three speed, but you know, why why are the, the defense is always uh, catching on to me? Well, I got to run my routes more crispy. You know, so you work on your your route tree, and that's what we got to do. We got to spiritually work on our route tree. Okay, okay, I'm I'm good at at reading. Okay, I could be a little bit better at speaking, a little bit better at history. So you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna do everything that we've been doing with the reading, and then we're gonna keep kick it up a little bit on the history. We're gonna kick it up a little bit on the speaking. You know, you can do certain exercises, um, and whatever. Uh, deficient uh, area that you're that you're having trouble with one of your deficiencies and you know and improve that so you got to know yourself know what you know that um you know you have trouble with women you have uh trouble with money or you you whatever it is you know different brothers got different vices you just gotta know what satan is going to try to take advantage of you uh what area and then Mortify that member, cut it off, make it make a weakness of strength, do whatever it is you got to do, fast, pray, all those things, man. That's what that's that's what it takes. Uh, stop, stop, yeah. uh Okay, you want to do this on me, huh? Let me see. There we go. Okay, so uh, this is a big part of it as well. Okay, uh, John chapter 7 and 24 says, Judge not according to the appearance, but judge righteous judgment. Because you got to make judgment calls in its truth. Should I do this or should I do that? Okay, I want to do this. This is with my body, my flesh. That currently, this is what I want to do. But is this right in spirit? Or right, you got to make that judgment call. And sometimes, you know, a brother or two might come at you um, with with a, a disagreement or something like that. You can't be like, well, you know, I've known this brother for a little bit longer, you know, so I think he he going to be right on some, you know, you have to judge righteous judgment. Not according to the appearance, but to what's right for that situation. All right, so judging, that's, that's what the whole end game is. We're going to be judges of the earth, judges of the universe. So that's why we're in the training camp right now, to learn that, to improve on this skill. This is uh, Matthew 18 and uh, 21. It says, and it came, then it came, then, it's like it, then came Peter to him and said, Lord, how oft, how oft shall my brother sin against me and I forgive him till seven times? How shall I say if unto him, I say not unto thee until seven times, but until seventy times seven. Okay, so you got to be forgiving. You got to have forgiveness. You got to have that passion in your heart. The Lord put us away, but he forgave us through through the spirit of Yahweh Shai. He forgave us. So are not we better than the Lord to forgive our brethren who we see every day? So you 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 got you can't harden your heart toward the Akium. You have to um, have that 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 passion, man. And that's also going on to what um you know the apostles and the the elders and you know uh, uh, this camp as well. You know was was going to about being that classy man. You know if if somebody's going off, there's a way to tell them that they're going off without you know being an asshole. Be classy. And it says that we do have to forgive 70, 70 times 7. So, you know, he may he may have made a mistake right now. But just like we brought out in the, the lesson yesterday, um, you know, he can come back. There's people that's been kicked out and that's came back. And just because you're not in GMS doesn't mean that you're not a man of the Lord. But this says uh, until, 70, until 70 times 7. So forgiveness is a big part of this. Uh, let me see. I want to get this one, but just one more scripture that I, I remembered. Let me put.
put a video on pause and get that real quick.